Alright guys, welcome to my 15th UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm finally going to be finishing up the basic shape of our house. So, once we finish the basic shape, we can begin learning about other fun stuff. But for now, this house needs a roof. So, what I'm going to be doing is, what I could do before is just copy the floor and drag it up. But remember, we added that porch extension. So, we need to account for that whenever we're creating the roof. So, what I'm going to do is change my grid size to 32 for easier measuring. And I'm going to measure the new length of our house. And let's see what it is 1600. So, that's the new length that we need our roof to be. And I already remember from whenever we created our floor that it's 1024, uh, it's 1024 in this direction wide. So let's go ahead and make our roof right here using the red builder brush. Hop out of cylinder if you're still in that. And for the cube, just go ahead and right select that. And as you can see, the Y property is the length. So we want to change Y to 1600. We want to change Z. Z is going to be the thickness, so change that to 32. And for X, X is the width, so go ahead and change that to 1024. And now that we got that set up, go ahead and click build and X out of that. So now all we have to do is position this red builder brush over our house precisely. So let's go ahead and position that exactly where it needs to be and also pull it up so it sits right on top of our house right like that. And now all we have to do is add some mass and get that red builder brush out of the way. So now as you can see in our perspective view we now have a beautiful roof but our house looks more like ice cream shop or a museum than a house so one thing that we can do is we need to add a pitched roof so in order to make this polygon kind of more triangular let's hop over to geometry mode and remember like I said anytime I work with geometry mode I like to hop over in brush wireframe mode it gives me a better idea of what I'm looking at so hop over to brush wireframe mode and go ahead and hop into geometry mode and this lets us edit all the vertexes, all the polygons, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to make this really quick and easy triangular. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting this edge. And it's I know it's going to be a pain in the butt since I'm recording this right there. Huh, it only took me two tries. It usually takes me about 87. So what we're going to be doing, now that we have this edge selected, we're going to hit this button right here, split. What this does is it takes that edge and it splits it directly in the middle. It, I mean, I can't explain it as good as you guys can see it. So that's what it's doing. It's taking the shape and it's splitting it. So it gives us a bunch of new vertices to work with. So now what we can do if we go in the side view, which is actually the front. Well, let me go ahead and move this out of the way a little more. Whoop. So now what we can do if we go in the side view, which is actually the front of our building, is we can select these vertices. And remember, if we select this top vertex, it actually selects both these vertices, as we can see in the perspective view. And now all we have to do is move these up. So move them up until you get a nice looking pitch on your roof. I think that looks pretty good. Go ahead and check it out in side view and also in perspective view and actually let's go ahead and hop out of geometry mode and into camera mode before we do something we don't want to and we actually turn this into unlit mode and remember you don't see any changes right now because you didn't rebuild your geometry so if we go ahead and build our geometry again and close this we now see those changes pretty cool huh so one thing that we could do after this is I want to make sure that my lighting is centered so let's go ahead and center that light and actually I just moved my window so actually my lighting looks pretty good right now so let's go ahead and test our, our final level of course we didn't add any textures and stuff yet but for this for sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is final and it says lighting needs to be rebuilt you SOB so let's go ahead and build all and it's gonna go ahead and build my lighting it's probably gonna take like 20 seconds or so so uh, yeah so anyways, there is a UFC tonight. That was pretty cool. Frank Mir beat Roy Nelson. And anyways, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and play this level. So go ahead and play from here. And now we get to play our new level in our shiny new house. 
So check it out. There's a little lighting issue outside the house. And if we want to, we can go ahead and fix that by doing this. In our top view, remember, I know I didn't talk to you guys about lighting or anything yet, but anytime you want to copy something, just go ahead and hold Alt and drag. Again, like I said, this is not a lighting tutorial. Just for the sake of this tutorial, um, I want to light up the outside. So if you want to copy your lighting, just go ahead and select the light that you already added. Hold down Alt and drag and slide this one to outside. So then our entire house is lit up. And of course, we need to rebuild all. And as I was saying, there's a UFC tonight and Rampage 1. Uh, Rampage beat, who, oh, Matt Hamill. And okay, enough of me talking. And close that. <laughs> that was just a little filler talk to uh, keep you guys entertained while my lights were building. And now check it out. Our house is perfectly lit up inside and out. Ooh, nice pillars. Wonder who installed them. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it, our basic 3D model. That's all I'm going to be doing when it comes to basic 3D modeling. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be covering textures and a bunch of other fun stuff. So now that you have a basic shape model, it's ready to move on to the next set of tutorials, expand our knowledge even more. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to save your file. I'm actually going to save mine right here. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.